Hi. Welcome to this episode of the Lockdown Lectionary. This week we've been looking at a long uh, segment from the 8th chapter of Romans, uh, verses 26 through 39. And parts of, parts of this passage use language that can get into um, ideas like predestination and, and other things that are complicated and controversial, and we're not going to have time to get into those particular things in this format. But I do want to look at some of the wisdom that Paul imparts in these words uh, as we go through our week this week. And so today we're going to be wrapping up our look um, at that portion of Romans by looking at chapter 8, verses 37 through 39. And Paul writes these words, No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. As I said a moment ago, this section of Romans is thick, and it takes a lot of work to plow through everything uh, in order to get to Paul's point sometimes. But in these final verses of this passage, we are rewarded with the core truth that he's been trying to convey all along. There is nothing, nothing at all, that can separate us from the love of God. For a pastor, that feels kind of like a, a mic drop of a moment. I mean, what else is there to say about this statement? There's absolutely nothing that can separate us from God's love. That's pretty powerful stuff. And it is the logical conclusion that comes from several of the other passages that we looked at earlier this week. God knows what we need, even when we aren't able to ask for it, or may not even know ourselves. God wants the best for us in all situations. God is on our side. All of those statements that Paul has been making find their roots in this closing doxology of praise. Again, nothing can separate us from the love of God. So often I wish I could do a better job of conveying this idea to people who are in pain or who are suffering from some sort of self-inflicted harm in their lives. I think that there are times for all of us when we can't convince ourselves that this statement is true. And when we are in denial, that's when we are at most at risk for doing something that's detrimental to ourselves and to our relationship with God. So for whoever out there needs to hear it one more time, here it is. God loves you. And there's nothing, nothing at all, period, whatsoever that can separate us from that love. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. God, we love you, and we know you love us. Help us to remember that nothing can separate us from you. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me today, and be sure to check out the music in the comments section below. A quick note for regular viewers of the Lockdown Lectionary. Uh, for the next uh, couple of weeks or so, we're going to be taking a break and bringing back the most watched episodes from these last 15 weeks. I hope that you'll enjoy our greatest hits, and I'll be back with new content in early August. In the meantime, be safe, stay at home, and wash your hands. Peace be with you.